Greetings, Dr. Dan, with Optimal Optics here to introduce Unit 11P, Word Problems on Astigmatic Lenses, assuming you have seen Unit 11. Question 1, the radius of a convex cylinder separating air from glass, index equals 1.5 is 8 in the third centimeters. What is its refracting power in a section 60 degrees from the axis? Let's draw it out. We have our lens with vertex A, center C, and focal point F. The radius is a positive 8.33 centimeters going from left to right from A to C. Let's write that in meters, 0.0833 meters, because we're going to use that information to solve for the focal length. The formula is N over F equals N prime minus N over R, R in meters. So we'll plug in what we know. n equals 1, n prime equals 1.5. And we find that 1 over f equals 6, which means the focal length is 1 sixth of a meter, and the power equals n over f, or 1 over, 1 over 6, which equals plus 6 diopters. The formula to figure the power at an angle from the axis is f theta equals f sine squared theta. Again, we'll plug in what we know, and we find that the power at 60 degrees equals plus 4.50 diopters. Question two, transpose minus two sphere, minus three cylinder, axis 45 into A, a sphere or plus cylinder, and B into two cross cylinders. So here's an optical cross at 45 degrees and 135 degrees. Minus 2 sphere means it's minus 2 in both meridians. Minus 3 axis 45 means it's minus 3 in the 135th meridian for a total of minus 5. So to get a plus cylinder, you start with minus 5 sphere, and then you add plus 3 to it to get the minus 2 in the 45th meridian. Therefore, the axis must be axis 135. The two cross cylinders, you could write plano minus 2 axis 135, or you can save ink by just writing minus 2 axis 135 combined with minus 5 axis 45.